born to fight. Mark Magseo's Magnifico story. Filipinos are known for their two best boxers, Manny Pacquiao and Anito Donari. But, local boxers are here to prove that those two are not the last breed of champions. Welcome to our daily dose of boxing videos. Malapit na ang Pasko Hanggang ngayon Naghihintay pa rin sa'yo Malapit na ang Pasko Saan ka man Ikaw ang kailangan ko That's what I follow, Basta Sports, J. Mello. It started at a very young age, eight years old to be exact, when Mark Magseo started to close his fists, defend them hit. Magseo is one of the new breeds of Filipino fighters, aiming to be make their own name in boxing. His recent success was just another step toward his goal of becoming a world champion like his fellow boxer, John Real Casimero. But how did he start it and how did he become so good that he is still unbeaten professionally up to date? Well, let's go and dig in. As a young boy showing interest in boxing, Magseo already knew the path he will take. And as he grew older he little by little climbed his way. He became an amateur boxer. He recorded around 200 fights before he turned professionally. And on those fights he displayed amazing talent and great potential. He was even hailed as the best boxer twice and a four-time amateur boxing champion in the Philippines. The native of Tagbiliran City, Pahol was born on the 22nd of June, year 1995. He is rare, because few Filipino boxers are in the featherweight division. Currently, he is ranked as the fifth best featherweight fighter. This means that he is only a few fights away to become a title contender. And with the provision and guidance from legendary trainer Freddy Roach, Magseo's future is on bright light. Known for his moniker as the Magnifico, he has a knockout power of 66%. He has 14 knockouts on 21 wins with still no defeat. How many more fights do you think he needs to have a shot at the world title? Give your thoughts on the comment section below. The Sports, J. Mello. The Mexican boxer Gobito Hermazillo is a harder opponent than Duke Micah. We cannot avoid to compare John Real Casimero opponent to Mark Magseo opponent. No wonder, Casimero knocked out Micah in third round, while Magseo devastated the Mexican boxer via split decision. What we observe is that Goberto Hermazillo has strong chin and body. Mark Magseo landed many body blows and power punches to the Mexican face, but it is quite hard to be honest. Marnie fans noticed that the Mexican boxer landed more punches than Magseo. However, the quality, accurate, and powerful punches of the Filipino pride made the difference. Watch again their fights and you can vividly see it. 
Aside from the fact that Gobito Homozillo is taller than Magseo, Kesimero, and Micah, this is somehow a difficult fight for Mark Magseo. Duke Mike is quite a beginner in difficult fights. The interesting part of this fight is that Magseo showcase his speed, footworks, and combinations. This is just his first fight in US under MP promotions and to be honest this is impressive. Among of those nostalgic is the Freddy Roach, Magseo moment. The way Roach is instructing and guiding Magseo inside the ring, almost the same when Freddy Roach guided Marnie Pacquiao a long time ago. It looks like he miss Marnie Pacman. Do you think Mark Magseo and Freddie Roach friendship will go farther? One of the most anticipating in Magseo's career are the champions that he is going to defeat such as Josh Warrington, Gary Russell, Leo Station Cruz, and the Chinese champion Shukan. This a great start for Mark Magseo. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Thank you. Mga kabayan, malapit ng Pasko. Kaya po, huwag niyo pong kalimutan mag-subscribe dito sa ating channel, J. Mello Sports News and Entertainment. Maligayang Pasko. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.